Hello everybody, welcome back to Diamond Painting with Eskies. So, a box arrived today that I was not expecting until tomorrow. So I'm very, very, very excited. Um, I have two more things to bring to you on the channel. I've gotten such sweet response about the paint by numbers that I want to keep it on the channel for a while. So, we have one of our packages. <laughs> this is called Northern Tree Do-It-Yourself, so DIY oil painting without frame. Okay? Crinkle, crinkle. Sorry, I love the crinkle sound. This is a big, big crinkle bag. So, let me show you. These are not vacuum sealed. It does come with the hanging devices. Again, I would need to get a wooden frame for it. Three paint brushes in small, a little tiny bit bigger, which basically it just looks like it's a little longer, but that's good. And what I would say is a size two flat. And all of our pretty paints in our soft colors. And this is what it will look like. Let's hope. <laughs> Let's hope. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. So, 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 so happy. I am really enjoying bringing paint in. Sorry about that. Someone was at the door. So I am really enjoying being able to bring you the painting as well as some basic stitching, uh, which went up today. So, I was not expecting this until tomorrow. So, we have... Oops, upside down. I think. Nope, it was right side up. I'm upside down. So, this looks to be a 40 by 50 again. That's a good size. And this one's got teeny, 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 tiny little bits. Thank you. Thank you so much for those detail brushes. You know who you are because, um, yeah, this is really going to need it. And we also have our pattern. This is awesome. And with no grids. So, maybe this is one of color afterward. <laughs> I've gotten one that had grid lines through it, so I couldn't color it. I, this is going to be awesome. Now, Maybe we can get this pretty much done in time for Christmas. At least if I get to spend some time working on it. Hopefully. And this other one is also a cute little winter scene that may not ever get put away. This is my very, very first pre-printed cross-stitch. So what we call a stamped cross-stitch. It is on 11 count, so it should go very quickly. Contains your cotton fabric, which I am guessing is Aida. Your cotton thread, your needle, and instructions. And this is what it is. Some of my best friends are flakes. <laughs> I love this. This is going to be so much fun. It appears that the background is not stitched, other than a little bit of back stitching. This is going to be super cute. And I have never done one by this company, Joy Sunday. I have heard of them. I have never done one by them. So, let's check it out. This comes in a nice, thick plastic bag. I am going to pull the seal. Probably break it. And that's okay. This is apparently made in China. I've never had a kit from China. So this is awesome. New things. I think that Joy Sunday is based in the U.S. and has their items manufactured in China. So here we have instructions for pre-printed cross-stitch fabric. I'm pretty sure I can figure this out easily. Right? I've only cross-stitched forever. And it comes with instructions for without pre-printed. Alright. Here is our pattern. Nicely laminated. Awesome. This has the key. 
with the symbols and DMC colors. That's wonderful. Wonderful. Guys, this is going to be so cute. So, so cute. So cute. We just want to keep bringing you some fun things, give you some nice places to start. And I think that stamped cross stitch would be really good for beginners to start. So, heads up, I can already tell you something I know about this. The colors you see on here are not the thread colors, most likely. Yeah, no, they're not. So, it's just to let you be able to distinguish them, and if they're bright, it's easy to do so. Now, I just realized we have something really neat. Oh, okay, it comes with two needles. Awesome. But, it comes with metallic thread, you guys. Now, this is not the easiest thing to work with. Stop it. This is not the easiest thing to work with, but we will do this together. I've done metallic threads many times in my life. They just take a little finessing to work with, and this looks like kind of an old gold color. It's not a bright gold. It looks like, you know, an aged gold. It's, it's quite lovely. I'm so excited. This has 20 colors in it. Awesome. So we should get a lot of image definition. Yes, it works the same with cross stitch as it does diamond painting. Except that you can do a lot more to prevent pixelation by working it on a higher count fabric. In this case, I wanted this on a quick, easy thing with you guys so that we could just enjoy. So number 20 would be the metallic thread. And that is for backstitch where it is a yellow color. I am confuzzled. I need to read the pattern for that one. Obviously. But we will get there. Seriously. We're going to have a blast with these. We have a winter scene paint by numbers to do together along with finishing up this beautiful rose which if I focus on it would be done in like two days but I'm trying to take my time and be able to show you guys the next steps this is going to be my friend for this winter painting <laughs> I'm telling you this size 3 odd is going to be my best friend and we get to do this sweet sweet little stamped cross stitch together. I'm so excited, you guys. You have no idea how excited I am to do this with you guys. I've never done a stamped cross, a pre-printed cross stitch. We're going to learn this one together um, on how to read it. But for I will teach you all the basic stitches. We're just going to have a blast. Ooh, and this one has a few French knots. Most people fear French knots. I am going to show you how to not be afraid of French knots. They are not as complicated as they would seem. So, we're just going to have fun. You guys, we have the next couple of weeks full of winter fun. I'm telling you. And something very, very special was done for my family by a couple of very amazing, sweet young ladies. And I want to thank them so, so much. I've been crying today and yesterday. <laughs> Happy tears. We could not get a Christmas tree. This is our first year in this home. And as all of you know, I lost all of my things other than some furniture and personal items. So all of my ornaments, my lights, all of it gone. And we just couldn't afford a tree. So a couple of very, very amazing young ladies got together. And we have a lovely little four foot tall pre-lit tree. I only had two ornaments to put on it. And those came off of my baby tree. That the other three ornaments never come off of. Because, well, I received the snowflakes that are on it. When my babies passed away. To represent them. And the little 
polar bear, which we are calling a polar puppy, is Chrissy's ornament. So that little tiny tree, which is like a two foot tall tree, is here in my room. And I'm going to now pause you and take you off of the phone holder and show you our little bit of Christmas that I did today. Also, if I'm feeling like it's working out, I'm going to show you guys a way I figured out to use my leftover crystals to make a pretty little Christmas. So, for the moment, I'm going to pause you and take you off of here, and we will end this video with a little bit of Christmas joy. Okay, everybody. That is my little tree with snowy, frosty, and Chrissy's ornaments on it. Now, I hope the movement does not make you nauseous. I'm going to bring you around to my window for my backdrop for the rest of the holiday season. We have my Eeyore door hanger that I have had forever. Thank goodness it made it here. It was long in my personal things. And he has a little jingle bell on and an elf costume. But tinsel. Very pretty white garland. And white lights. Now I'm going to pause you and take you out to see our beautiful little tree. So this is the absolutely gorgeous little tree that these two sweet young ladies that are very much like daughters to me bought for my family to have a Christmas tree. I don't want to cry again. And I brought out a Christmas tree skirt that I made about 15 years ago when I married my husband. It's a snowman themed thing because, you know, I like snowmen. And of course we have a spooky up by the tree. So I wanted to end this video, this unboxing, by telling you all thank you so much and Merry Christmas from our family to all of you. My thoughts and prayers are with all of you as always. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful and Merry Christmas.